So number two. The density of air room temperature is 1.19 grams per liter. What is the mass in kilograms of the air in the room that measures 13 by 18 by 7 feet? So before we start to do our factor label method, we need to find the volume of this room. So we just multiply these all. So volume is going to be 13.0 times 18.00 times 7.0 feet. And that is going to give us 1638 cubic feet. Now, I'm not going to round it yet because I don't want to cause any kind of numerical value, numerical error due to rounding too soon. So we'll leave it at that for now. So that's going to be our given value. Our desired value is the kilograms and our given is going to be the volume, which is 1638 feet, cubic feet. So we need to find a way to get from feet to liters. Now, we know that one foot is going to be 12 inches, but we need a cubit to cancel out the units. One inch is going to be 2.54 centimeters, but again, we need to cube that too so that the inches can cancel out. And then finally, we're left with cubic centimeters at that point. We know that one cubic centimeter also equals one milliliter. It's from this transition that we can get into the liter zone. So, a liter to a milliliter, what is the conversion here? We know that one milliliter is the same as 10 to the minus 3 liters. So, now that we have liters, we want to find the mass. So, we can use the density as a conversion factor. We know that 1.19 grams of the air is equal to 1 liter because it's 1.19 grams per liter and now to get from grams to kilograms another prefix conversion that we know where one kilogram equals 10 to the 3 grams now again be careful with these cubed conversions we want to do the math first with them to make sure that we're multiplying the correct values 12 cubed is going to be 1728 cubic inches and we cube one, it's going to be one cubic foot. Now when we cube this, 2.54 cubed is going to be 16.387 cubic centimeters and one cubic inch over here. Let's put that in parentheses. I'm not going to write the rest of the conversion factors on the bottom, but just take note that we're not going to be multiplying by the 12 or the 2.54 anymore. We're going to be multiplying by the cubed versions. So the feet, the cubic feet will cancel out in this case. The cubic inches cancel out here. The cubic centimeters cancel out here too. The cubic centimeter here is on the numerator, which cancels out with the cubic centimeter on the denominator here. The milliliters cancel out. Liters to liters. And then finally, we have grams to grams, and we're left with the kilograms. Is that what we wanted? Yes. So once we do all of the math, we need to make sure we're doing it to the correct number of significant figures, which is two, based on this, based on this length measurement. And our answer is going to be 55 kilograms.